Hello and welcome to my world tour. So I've been working on this world for about a year. This is my newest part of it, so I'll be showing this off in the first episode, and I'll be going across the ocean that way to the oldest part later. The world is called Elementia. It's my one year world so far. I plan to keep this world going for at least five years to see what I can do. With new blocks, new updates, things have been things have got better or worse. Mainly the chain has made everything better because just look at the chain. It's probably the best block they added with the never update. So this is the harbour that I spent about 10-20 minutes on originally. And I've come back recently and started to change up the floor from cobblestone to a mixture of stone and the site mossy st cobblestone. And uh, still cobblestone because it's the basic one that you add difference to. So the dock is basically quite simple, it's just a wooden ring around the stone wall which puts the city higher than the ocean level. Here's a map of the harbour, and here is a map of the main kingdom. You've got the harbour city bit, and the castle down there, which I'm currently working on, and the wall all the way around. See, the floor's a bit basic here, because it's not been changed yet. I'm going to go through the houses that have interiors. Because not all of them do, because it's much easier just to build the exterior and detail that instead of going inside, hello chicken, and manually doing every single interior differently. So they're all basic, these ones. See, this is still a working progress, this city. Still got buildings planned out pathways to change, details to add, old ones to fix apparently. So I believe this house has not gone into here now. This one does, yeah. It's one of the first ones we did with interiors. It's now full of dogs. Yeah. Bench. Why not? Gotta add some detail, spice up the city streets. No. Right. This one has detail on the interior, I believe. Yes, it does. Perfect. So, most of the buildings either have two stories or three stories, depending if they've got an attic or not. Which I think this one does. Yes, it does. If I go up to the attic here. Just a compact, it's another small room. Simple campfire outside. Bit of a basement just here. Wine cellar, really. For one with a basic interior. Here's someone's knocked down the wall, or a bit of it. A lot of anvils. So we've got the basic market here, which if I take a nice fly over, you can see. It's definitely going to get improved. From the city plan, you, we've got different sections, section, sections. The black is residential, red is uh, industrial, blue is uh, public, like, say, lords, 
like the mayor, the town hall. Yellow is merchants. And this was planned as a military, but it will most likely change over time. So, if we go, let's go here first. It's got a simple farm, which I need to get around to completing. Start to change the path up a bit more. Got a nice little garden. And um, we started work on a mountain quite recently, about a month ago now. That looks pretty nice. Check out the smaller, more, not poor, but less industrial or compact buildings. We've got, most of these have interiors. This is a much more in-depth, more detailed road design, which I'll probably continue along here like that, and along to the castle gate. This is the castle. We completed the wall about a week ago and we started work on the castle. When I start to build the road in here, this is when I decided that I should probably change up the road and the pattern around the kingdom and the harbour to add more detail. But from what you can see, we've got a bit of a training ground over there. Uh, friends airship. Pyramid. Don't know why, but we have a pyramid. We have guards tower boats. That's not my design, it's by Lord Darker. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. And this is what I'm currently working on right now. This is this tower is going to go from Y coordinate 74 all the way to max height. And each floor, each individual floor is going to be different. The bedrooms, we've got a bit of a storage. Down here we're going to have probably an armory. We've got hot air balloons all around the city. Let's add a bit of detail into the sky, break up the skyline. We've got the dock where they're building the boats. Mainly these small fishing boats, not these large brigs. Got a little bit of a mock or a skit of a pirate battle over here. And we've my main terraformer, uh, my little brother, has helped been with doing the terraforming such as this. This is quite nice just here. I did the benches and stuff while he did the terraforming around it. He's he's been the main person building the mountain, so credit to him for that. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. He doesn't do content yet, but. I'm going to try get him to do content later, maybe give it a year or so, because he is doing content but it's not Minecraft or games like this, it's short pixel art, it's still pretty good to look at, it's quite satisfying to watch. As you can see, this area wasn't flat like this. If I go to about here, see there's a there was a mountain here. If I go over to here, probably be dirt. No, it's andesite, not andesite, granite. 
that underneath most of this is hollow. A boop. I'm gonna prove my point, I gotta find a good spot. I think, yeah. I'll go to a place where I know it's hollow. Yeah. It's got a few lanterns in here. Did do a bit of training there, but we decided to cover it up. Turn it into more of a flatter area for building on. That'll be it for the first part of the video. The second part will probably come out on a Thursday. I will see you in the next one.